Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be kicking off a new project to print a 3D airplane. And I chose for this, this extra 330 airplane. I don't take any credit for this preliminary design. This is simply a design that I've downloaded from grabcad.com. Somebody designed this airplane and I just downloaded it and I'm gonna start working on it to optimize it uh, for printing on a 3D printer. As you can see here, this is designed to be built using balsa wood. If you look at the hinges for the aileron, you can see how the hinges are constructed. It's basically designed to, to have uh, nylon or flexible hinges installed uh, between the aileron and the wing. Same thing here, you know, for the, for the elevator and the rudder. And obviously those things are not optimized for the for 3D printing. Even the fuselage. So the fuselage is like solid. There are no structures inside. You cannot just print it as is. Uh, you'll have to make so many modifications to the fuselage, put an internal support structure, so on and so forth. And on top of that, you also have to make sure that you uh, make pockets for servos everywhere, for ailerons, for elevator, and, and for the rudder. So I've actually started working on this and I've made some progress. And let me show you what I've done so far. So as you can see here, I've redesigned the hinges for the ailerons and for the rudder, and I've optimized them for 3D printing. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna pull that aileron back and show you the hinge that I've designed. So I've designed a hinge where you can simply put the aileron together with the wing and then insert a rod through the hole across from the beginning to the end of the wing. And then that basically, uh, that basically gives you a very good and rigid um, hinge uh, and the aileron is able to move freely. Same thing for the rudder. So if I move the rudder back a little bit, you can see the same concept. So you simply put the rudder together with the fuselage and you insert the rod from the top and then you have a hinge. Uh, what, what's gonna happen after this, after this is I'm gonna start working on uh, on the servo pockets. Uh, so after I'm done doing the same hinge system for the elevator, which you don't see, let me unhide it. So where's that? As you can see, this is the elevator, but it's still per the, the, the initial design, so I'm gonna basically modify it and make it exactly similar to this kind of hinge. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna start working on uh, designing servo pockets uh, for the ailerons, for the rudder and the elevator. And after that, what I'll do is, I'll start working on the fuselage. Again, the fuselage is, is just a body. There's nothing inside this fuselage and I'll have to put a lot of work into basically designing the internal support structure, uh, support for the for the landing gear, you know, support uh, for the battery and other electronics that I'm gonna put inside. So I think that the work for the ailerons, the elevator and the rudder is, is fairly simple. Uh, it's just that you have to design a hinge and a servo pocket, but the bulk of the work is actually in the fuselage. And after I'm done with the fuselage, I'm gonna also work on the mounting system for the motor and let me show you. So as of now, this is the cowl and as you can see, there is no motor support system. Now I've seen a design ready uh, on the web for a motor mount, which I'm gonna import and put here and then I'll basically scale it up and down and um, you know, uh, I'll make sure that it's the size fits this plane and then I'm gonna choose the motor and then I'll modify the holes in the mount to fit my specific motor. So 
this is the stage I'm at now and I'll be basically updating you and posting more videos as I complete this project. Uh, again, I don't expect to spend a lot of time around the, 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 the wings and the elevator and the rudder. I'm going to take some time. Most of the time will be spent working uh, on the fuselage. Now, when I downloaded this airplane, the wingspan was around 1.2 meters. I've scaled it up. So now it's 1.55 meters wingtip to wingtip. I like flying planes, 3D planes of that side, of that size. So this is it at this point. Thank you for watching this video. Please click like and subscribe so that you won't miss any updates to the design of this airplane. If you have any comments, any suggestions that you believe would help me complete this quickly and in a better way, please post them in the comments section. I would really appreciate all the community's comments. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.